Lopez, three-time major champ. She's got something in common with Nelly Corda, and that's five consecutive wins on the LPGA Tour. And someone else who knows what that's all about, Annika Sorenstam. In 2005, she won her fifth consecutive victory at this very championship. There she is with the Dinosaur Trophy. And today, Nelly Corda joins this exclusive club. She wins in her fifth consecutive start on the LPGA Tour. And with that, we are so pleased to welcome Annika Sorenstam, 10-time major champ. Annika, I know that you're playing today out at the Invited Celebrity Classic, and you're headed to the airport, so we really appreciate you taking the time. But this is certainly a big deal, and we needed to get your take on Nelly Corda joining the club with five consecutive wins. Can you put into context just how big of a deal it is to accomplish something like this? Well, first of all, uh, thanks for having me. I just want to congratulate Nellie, obviously, on her achievement. It's it's amazing. I'm so so proud of her for uh, you know for to five in a row and to make you know the major kind of her fifth. It's just it's great for women's golf. I'm super happy for her. I mean, as you know, it's hard to win once on tour and then to win twice and then now obviously to do it five times. It's a really hard thing to do, and I'm just so proud of her and happy for her. And. Uh... <laughs> it has been so amazing to watch her in this streak and obviously you have been there and you might not want to give her any advice because you don't want her to break uh, your record but if there was a piece of advice that you could give Nellie while she's entering uh, potentially her sixth one in a row what would you tell her? Well I would just say keep going you know it really doesn't matter what you've done in the past and the ball doesn't know you've won five times in a row and you just got to start over and keep playing and trusting yourself. She obviously hitting the ball well and putting well, and you know she's uh, her confidence is very high. So I would just say keep going. I think the hardest part is not so much physically, but probably more mentally. As you know, when you win a tournament, it takes a lot out of you and the obligations and the responsibilities that come with it. I think that wears you out more than anything. But uh, you know, just keep on going. I mean, just focus on what you got to do. Hit the one shot at a time, and try not to think. You know, what happened in the past. Just trying to think what's you know what up in the future and focus on the shot that you're going to hit now and and see what happens i mean she obviously has nothing to lose and so you know it's just fun i you know it's been fun to watch and i uh, hope she keeps going i think back at colonial we were together when you played on the pga tour and i know the pressure uh of, of the weight of the world of the lpga you going up there against the guys how did you deal with that pressure uh because that was you know it had to feel like the weight of the world was on you yes yeah, so i think again that's probably the hardest thing like i said physically you know we're capable of hitting the shots and, you know, making the putts that's needed, but it's everything around it. You know, you think of history, you think what's on the line, and you start thinking more about the things that you really can't control than the things you can control. So just kind of try to stay in the moment and, and go with it. And, I mean, obviously, you know, you just – I don't know when Nelly's playing next, but uh, if he gets a chance to rest and then get ready to go again. I mean, the conf when the confidence is high, it's, it's just a lot of fun. You seem like – you're in the zone, right? Everything is going your way. You're hitting the right clubs and you're seeing the right lines on the green. It's just, you know, everything's dropping. So, you know, it's a fun time when things are going your way. So, you know, try to just focus again in the moment and not try to think about what it means and history. And, you know, that's when we put pressure on ourselves, and that's what mm -hmm. makes it a little harder. Annika, when you think back to when you were in the midst of your streak from 2004 to 2005, ultimately getting that fifth win at the Chevron Championship that year, when you look back at that time, what are the core memories that stand out to you that, that you constantly think of? Well, at the time, it just felt so easy. <laughs> Everything was going my way, and, you know, standing on the first tee, I felt super confident, and, you know, just... You know, you don't have any bad thoughts. You know, you stand over the ball and you see it and you feel it and you do it and you just really don't worry about it. And, you know, if you miss a shot, then, okay, that's no problem. I just get up and down. Or, you know, if you don't hit a good pot, you know, you're going to make the next one. It just seems so easy. And I think that's really kind of what she's feeling right now. It's the confidence level is so high and it just, you really feel like you got one up when you stand on the first tee. And it, it's so important, as you know, I mean, the longest shot in golf is between the ears. And, you know, when you feel so good about it, you really don't worry about stuff. You just have a positive mindset and, and you believe that you can do it. Even, you know, you even know that you can win without really hitting, you know, the best shots out there. And that is such a great feeling. So, you know, when, when you're on that run, just keep going. But as you know, the game can change so easily. And, you know, when we start thinking about other shots, that's kind of when we get into trouble. 
Well, looking at Nellie's game and what she's done so far and her very young career, uh, where do you see her stacking up in the history books of women's professional golf? Well, I think she's already made history. <laughs> I think she already had a phenomenal career. You know, she's been number one several times and won majors, and now she's on this streak. So, yeah, of course that there's more things for her to do and more things to accomplish. I'm not really sure what her goals are. I just hope she achieves what she wants to achieve. And But she's great for the game, and, you know, to put women's golf on the map in different ways is really important. So right now I think the eyes are on the LPJ, and it's great to follow. Well, Annika, we certainly appreciate the time, and I'm sure that Nellie appreciates the support as well. Safe travels home. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care.